Hello. Okay, what a thing that we have in the mail today. Um, this has just arrived from Pick Pack Logistics uh, from Adam Poots Games in Glendale, New York. Um, and here I am in Darwin, Australia. This is the Gambler's Chest expansion for Kingdom Death, which I backed something like eight years ago and is six years overdue. Um, so, and now it just shows up. So I'm super excited. I've, everybody's known it's been coming for a little while now because they've been, a lot of people have actually already received it. But um, man, first off, this box is humongous. Uh, when I backed this, it was like $100 extra um, to get it. And it was meant to just be sort of a bunch of extra figures. Not a little bit of game content, not much really. It was just sort of like a, here's some cool stuff you can get. And in that six years of, of overdueness, it was being developed into something much bigger. I keep saying, I've said before, a, a, a whole nother standalone game. It's not standalone. You still need the Kingdom Death base game to play this. Um, but it's got at least as much content in it as the base game. How am I even going to get this out of the box? Whoa. So there was a little bit of damage on the outside of the box here. Um... But that clearly hasn't made it through to the inside of the box. And this is just, whoa, how do I do it? I'm going to stand it up like this. That's how I'm going to do it. So they've done a pretty good job packing it. It's a, it's a, it's a huge, huge box with a lot of content in it. Um, they packed it pretty tightly so that there's not a lot of... Um, open air in this box. Just cardboard wrapped around game. So there's the big box cutting rid of it. There's the protective corner. So this is the interior box. It's pretty well packed. Look at all this cardboard. There's like a whole game could fit in that easily. So it's looking pretty good for condition. So that's good. And um, what can I say about this? It's, it's got enough game material in it to play a whole campaign. A whole new, oh, how do you call it? Like a whole new game, basically. It's incredible what they've added to this. Um, heaps of miniatures, more, I suppose, volume of plastic. So this is the first box inside the box. This will be the one that contains all the miniatures. Oh, I can't even lift it out. Can't even get it out of the box. Oh. There we go. It's really tightly packed, but so far everything's in really good condition, so that's good. Okay, so this Ah, so this actually is an outer slip case, I suppose you could call it. And this will contain two more boxes. The actual box that contains all of the game content and the box that contains all of the miniatures. Now, Kingdom Death doesn't ship assembled miniatures. You can see it's sort of split in the corner of that right there, but... I'm not too bothered about that. This isn't the actual main game box. Um, they ship sprues. So you have to actually cut out all the, the miniatures yourself from the sprues and assemble them yourself. And I don't know if you can really see it, but if you have a look, this is really cool. That's the gambler of the gambler's chest, who uh, is a monster that you can confront in the game. There's a whole new set of monsters. The Gambler, the Smog something, the Smog Monsters, or Smog Singers, Smoke Singers, the, the Crimson Crocodile, which is really cool. One of my main, I guess, things I don't love about Kingdom Death itself is the core game. I find the monsters to be, although they're brutal and a lot of fun to play, they're a bit boring. Like, a, you know, the white lion, it's, it's a lion, it's white. Uh, it's got kind of human hands, but this one, they've really, and 
gotten very creative. And if you get into the expansions of Kingdom Death, there's some really crazy, crazy monsters that they've come up with. And I, I just love that about the game. All right, so that's that. I'll set that aside. Whew. I'm getting, I'm getting tired unpacking all of this. So this, I believe, I believe is all the gameplay content of the game. You can see there's some really nice artwork on the back there. Um, what looks like the Crimson Crocodile or a giant version of it with some people crawling out, out of its mouth. and um, The Crimson Crocodile I don't believe is that big, but I like the art anyway. And you can see it's got that sort of black on black design again with the gambler. If you can see it, which you might not be able to see. Now this one should contain all of the, the sprues for the miniatures. Miniature assembly. So that box is actually bigger than the original gambler's sprue box. But this box, uh, sorry, the original Kingdom Death. This box is smaller than the Kingdom Death box. So if I take my camera over here, excuse me, dog. You can see there's Kingdom Death Monster. It's about that big. And that contains no miniatures. It's just all of the gameplay content. And I walk back over here. And as you can see, it's the same width and height, but thinner. I'm really excited to see what's in there though. All right, so we'll just have a quick look in here. Now, these miniatures probably won't be much to look at because as I say, they're unassembled. I have to cut them out, glue them together. This is a, 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 a really fun part of this game if you're a collector. Sorry, if you're into the hobby of, of assembling and painting miniatures. Oh my goodness. So here's all the bases. The big ones are for the monsters. Here's the, the armor kits. So it's, they have narrative armor kits in this one. So things that are meant to be assembled in an, a, a, a specific way. The original game had um, more freeform armor kits where you could just put them together any number of ways. Uh, you have a few choices how you assemble these, that being said. So when you put together one of these characters, you can put different arms or weapons on them. Okay, this is the Atnus, the evil Santa Claus. That's... The king, there's some bits of the crimson crocodile. Oh my gosh. This is gonna take me so much time to assemble, just, oh, just to assemble it, even just to, this is bits of the gambler. He, he carries around a big ball of sleeping humans. Um, why does that? I don't know. That's part of the fun of the game is unraveling a bit of the mystery and then trying again. Oh, that's some more of the gambler. See, that's some pieces of his ball of human bits. Well, then, so they're complete humans. Not bits. All right. Wow. Here's some more gambler chat. See? That, that all assembles into like a big... Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Big ball. A big ball. A big ball of people. And there's the crimson crocodile. And I saw some... There's some cool encounter monsters that you can, when you're doing the hunt, rather than just a boring stroll through the darkness, you can encounter some rather horrible creatures that will try to eat your bones. Uh, and here's some really impressive weapons that you can possibly create. The way this game works, of course, is you go on, you, you have this little settlement, and you send out your people to hunt down monsters, um, and you kill them or die trying and then you take all the little bits and pieces and uh, you know upgrade your settlement and upgrade the, the kind of weapons you have available to you uh, so that the next time you go out you can have a better time hunting and you know kill stronger monsters just wow well that's if you see there there's the crimson crocodiles horrifying wrinkly shrimp like crocodile face um oh so cool and they've got look at that there's some sort of clear base there so it looks like somebody might be standing in water i don't know look at this little plastic dice what's that for i don't know something cool man i could just sit here for hours 
just kind of having a close look at all these bits and pieces. Now, this is the bit that really, this is going to be a lot of work to assemble any of this. The instructions, as you can see, there's no booklet there. There's no, there, there, there's a web resource available for assembly instructions. I've already heard reports that it's not perfect. So you have to be careful because it's possible to assemble stuff wrong. All right, let's have a look at the game content without marking up my box. Let's see if I can pinch a little bit of this plastic and cut the plastic. There we go. Unzip it down the thing. Oh, wow. Oh. So that has this beautiful matte finish on the box. Now I have had the original Kingdom Death Monster board game box for a number of years now. And sadly, I don't know how this one will go, but over time it sort of deteriorates a little bit um, just through moisture in the air. So as you can see, this is beautiful, smooth matte finish. It's easy to mark up. And I'll go, we'll go have another look at that Kingdom Death Monster box. You can see it's done this sort of thing. Oh, what's this? What are these bubbles? Oh, I don't like that. But that's fine. You know, whatever. I don't know if this one will do it, but it's still, the box has its integrity. It's not dumping bits and pieces all over the place. Um, oh, lift the lid off. Very thick cardboard. It's very sturdy. Let's have a closer look if you can see that really nifty black on black matte gloss finish on matte finish design you can see there's already a bit of separation there where this black paper the glue that's holding it onto the cardboard isn't